Lizards are a diverse group of animals, from nocturnal to diurnal, and from land to water. What makes a lizard a lizard? Is this a lizard? This is actually a salamander. It is common for newts and salamanders to be mistaken as lizards, but they are amphibians. Lizards, on the other hand, such as this anole, are reptiles. They typically have four legs and dry scales. You can actually see the scales on this chameleon. While on this salamander, you can see the moist and slimy skin that is characteristic of most amphibians. After watching, identifying species of lizards and telling them apart from other animals will become much easier. And you will pick up some interesting facts along the way. Many people think all lizards are very similar. When you hear the word lizard, do you think of the gecko from the Geico commercial? Maybe something from Jurassic Park? The variety of physical characteristics between species of lizards may surprise you. This is a gargoyle gecko. Gargoyle geckos' toes are covered with millions of microscopic hairs, called setae. They enable them to adhere to and climb up vertical and smooth surfaces. However, gargoyles are not as sticky as other arboreal gecko species, but gargoyle geckos have a prehensile tail that they use as a fifth foot while they climb. Geckos are typically nocturnal and adapted to climbing trees and scaling walls. This helps in tropical areas with many trees such as Hawaii and Costa Rica, but that doesn't mean they don't take a tumble once in a while. Lizards aren't just found in the tropics, but can be found in the suburbs of populated areas within California. Spiny lizards, like the blue-bellied, also known as the western fence, is one of the lizards local to California. They have the ability to change color and are diurnal. Not only can these lizards change color, but they can also benefit humans. These lizards have actually been found to decrease Lyme disease. Lyme disease is transferred by ticks, which feed on the lizard's blood. But the lizard's blood actually has a protein that kills the bacterium. Another lizard that has the ability to change colors is the chameleon. Almost half of all known species of chameleons live in Madagascar. Contrary to popular belief, they change color to communicate and regulate body temperature, rather than to camouflage themselves from predators. How do the chameleons change color? The skin of these lizards actually contain tiny nanocrystals that reflect light at certain wavelengths. The lizards have the ability to contract or expand the distance between the nanocrystals, changing the wavelength of light being reflected. Many lizards are land creatures, but some use water to escape from predators. The basilisk can run up to 66 feet or 20 meters on water. It can also reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour, and it is able to swim efficiently if need be. But the swimming ability of the basilisk is nothing compared to the marine iguanas. Basilisks may be able to run 20 meters on water, but marine iguanas can dive 20 meters, and they can stay submerged for over 30 minutes. They also have long, sharp claws to help hold onto rocks while waves crash into them. This is much different from the sticky, hair-covered feet of geckos. Iguanas are one of the larger groups of lizards, reaching up to 7 feet in length. Other lizards, such as this guy, are not as massive. Lizards are found all over the world, from the urban parts of California to the tropical areas of Madagascar. Sometimes endangered, other times abundant. They range from the colorful and leisurely chameleon to the muted and swift fence lizards. There are over 4,000 species of lizards. I've only shown you 10. You've got a lifetime to look for more lizards.